Let him go, let him go, let him go. Stay, 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 stay. Video released today shows the dangers police officers faced back in May in Grand Forks. A man wrestled with authorities, stole a police cruiser, and then deliberately crashed into a semi along I-29. Valley News Team's Joshua Pagaro recaps the struggle. Police responded to calls at a parking lot at the Dollar General in Grand Forks. They found Jordan Peotra, who was wanted on outstanding warrants. Let me just hop in this real quick and we'll try to figure this out. So, do you think this black one's yours? Yeah. Okay, no, that's fine. You're not arrested or anything. I just want you to hop in, okay? But as body cam video from one of the officers shows you, the exchange quickly escalated. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Stay, 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 stay. The officers tried to subdue the 33-year-old, and at one point he tried taking an officer's gun. Let me take the gun and shoot it. I'm just going to die, man. Peotra runs around them unfazed by the stun gun and takes off some of his clothes. Eventually, he steals the police cruiser. Police also want to clarify that this was not a pursuit. The only reason they found out about it was through GPS tracking and by people calling in the stolen vehicle. Peotro runs red lights and stop signs in his mad dash to get away. He makes it to Interstate 29 where he then crosses the median and goes head on into a semi truck where he dies at the scene. Investigators ruled his death as a deliberate act. In Grand Forks, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. Of the two officers who responded, only one body camera was found. It's believed the camera may have been lost during the scuffle between Poitra and officers. Police say they are still looking for that camera. Cleanup efforts.